Are expensive products really better? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Inflation got you down. Well, good thing these two guys are testing pricey products against their cheap counterparts, so you know which ones are worth the price tag. It's time for, I'm looking for a farting whale noise machine to help me fall asleep, but should I get the one that's expensive or cheap? Yeah, that was over? Yeah, right. Okay, all right, we're gonna feast our hands and eyes on two versions of the same product. One's gonna be quite cheap, and one's gonna be rather expensive, and we're gonna test them out, experience them to the fullest in order to see if we can identify which one is the expensive one, thereby yes. learning yes. if it's worth it, right? And we're competing yeah. against each other. Oh you know? yeah. It's like, who knows, who knows they're cheap and they're expensive the person stuff. who wins will collect a pretty penny. Oh, okay, those are gonna be discontinued soon. Okay, but just as importantly, after the answers have been revealed, Stevie is gonna reveal the actual cost of both <laughs> items, and then we'll decide if that product is worth the pricey or no dicey. All right. All right, let's start off a little camera action here. One of these instant cameras retails for $49.99, uh -huh. while the other retails for $119.99, a difference oh. of 70 bucks, also, the expensive camera requires film that costs five times as much as the cheaper camera oh, okay. film. So the difference is seventy dollars. So you said one hundred and twenty, and what'd you say? Uh, like fifty bucks and one hundred and twenty bucks, essentially. So this is a like a classic Polaroid esque type thing, and this well, feels a little more newfangled. Let me take a picture. I want to take the exact same picture with both these. So let me start. Yeah, go back there. Oh yeah, work it. I took it. All right, so that's gonna print. That wasn't a very satisfying sound. And then, no, it wasn't a satisfying sound. And then for this one, work it same exact way. Oh yeah. Okay. Instantaneous results. And this is like, this is a printer. This thing's like printing the photo. Oh yeah, it's gonna come out of here. Oh, well, here it comes. Wow, look at that. There it comes. You you wanna um you wanna take one of me maybe in dim light. Let's, let's lower the light a little bit. Uh, we'll, set, we'll we'll compare all these at the end. Dim lighting. Okay, do something that you might do in dim lighting. Something a little sneaky. Like. That's it, man. So you tell secrets, or you and tell now, people to not tell secrets yeah, in the dark? Don't tell secrets just because the light's so dim. So this will automatically yeah, just, flash? Yeah. No, it won't flash. You know how to take a picture? Okay, so yeah, because I'm testing. We're, te we're doing testing low light, no flash. Okay. Oh, it did flash. It did flash because I think it senses that it needed to flash. It's all part of the comparison, man. This other one. This one doesn't even have a flash. Doesn't have a flash. Lights, please. But it is a printer. Okay, so we've got these two that we're gonna compare. They're both white. Then we're gonna compare those. Just like us. What about an action shot? Maybe something, you know, a little bit of a fancy dance. Oh, how about it? You gotta get more motion. Michelle. Okay, I got it. Keep, dan keep dancing, keep dancing, don't stop. I thought you flashed for no reason. Well, it just sensed that it needed to flash. All right, the old school looking camera takes a long time, so that's a factor. Whereas this thing, it's immediate. Yeah, but it printed horrible pictures. Once you very, compare very the two. Even though the backing does come off and it's a sticker, it, I think there's a lot of utility in just being able to take a photo with that thing, and make print a name it out. Tag. Just a yeah, make a name tag. I am the person like, that you're looking at. Yeah, right here. That, that would work. Let's look at the low light one. You really look like you're telling it. You're trying to keep a secret yeah, right here. Yeah. Like, I'm like, wow, what, what does that man know? I'm loving this. And this just looks like a man acting like he's ha he's has a secret. Yeah, it's not working as well. And then when we get into the the motion effect of dancing with a cow. Wow, I mean. I mean, look, it's just, it's night and day different. I will say, uh, in defense look of, how blurry of, of this my is. composition, this one's very difficult to frame for, 
But now that I'm taking another look, it actually does have some like target, like an outline in there that's way smaller than the viewfinder, which is kind of a dumb feature. Like, well, let's put our hands on which one we think is more expensive. Clearly, we like this. This one is better. a much better camera, but this has a printer inside that for some it might be that like, oh, this is like, you know, I'm, I'm ready. Are you, so you're gonna go with what's the better camera? Or you're gonna go with which one you think is more expensive? Well, we have to vote for the most expensive one. Two. One. I think it's this one. I think it, it's a scam. I think, I think this is the most expensive. It. This is just a utilitarian thing. The expensive instant camera is the Polaroid Now camera on Lynx side. Oh gosh, so it's, hey. Really? Yep, and the one on Rhett's side is the Kodak Printomatic. Well, I actually, okay. So, so it is as it should be. We're both wrong, but the world is as it should be. But okay, I think definitely another 70 bucks. I mean, you couldn't pay me to use this this camera. Like, I, much less have me pay for it to then be used. No, it, w it needs to be for a specific job. Okay, so what we're saying and is we that don't the do. more expensive one is definitely, definitely worth, worth the price. Yeah. Okay, one of these knife sharpeners retails for $32.79, uh -huh. while the other retails for $199.95, oh. a difference of 167 and 16 cents, but Dang. which is the more expensive sharpener? Okay, Link. A hundred, that's a big difference. You're going to observe, okay? Well, come You're going on, to it's observe right me. here, man. I have two Look, knives. I mean, I'm my finger to, won't go down in here. I'm gonna take the, the little sharpie thing on. off the end, the little protector. I can't get my finger in there. Well, before you, yeah, you just can do that. Now, they, they look very, very similar. You see that, like, the handle, the tang, oh, all that stuff. Oh, yeah, like, full tang, man. I mean, yeah, we're not we're not comparing the knives. It's just oh, the same knife. Oh, I was just seeing. I was seeing if you were following along. It is the same knife. We're comparing the sharpeners. You know what? Tang, tang is when it goes all the way, You're, all the way hey, to the end. Hey, s right? Stop. Is it full tang? We don't know. I don't, actually, I don't actually think it's full tang. So I'm going to do a I few tests. I think it's fake tang. So this is just full the, tang. This is just the dull knife before we get started, right? Okay. Let's see if we can. It's not. It's not catching the edge. This is how you do the knife test. You see if it will catch it on its own. What about a cucumber? It's not, this, that knife's not. You know what you need to do? You keep up with what knife is what. Okay. That's that, that knife. Can you do that? There's one knife. This is this knife and that is that knife. Yeah, yeah. That knife is also not cutting. This knife and that knife are not cutting. You wanna, you wanna put them through a cuke? So I'm just gonna kinda do just a sort of just a. Is this that or a, that? This is this knife. This knife. Well, it actually kind of works pretty nice. Okay, this knife, and, and that what about knife that knife? Equal. Uh, all right, so and turn also, this thing on. If you're really into. Oh, yeah, give, give, her, her, give her her moment in the sun, man. So we got, hold, could you hold the head, please? Could you hold the head? And that knife is gonna come across here. That's not doing anything. You cannot cut hair with, this, with uh, this, that knife. What about this knife? Nope. Okay, so. All right, so it's, take, now it becomes very important which one is this knife and that knife. All right. Because that was actually, I was just, that was all it practice. Did, doesn't even matter. All right, put this knife on that and put that knife on this. So here you go. This knife's gonna be over here, but you can't touch it. You can touch the handle. Okay, so basically I'm gonna have to turn this towards myself. You can imagine what it's gonna look like. I have to turn the numbers towards myself to turn it on. Okay. Okay. And now I'm gonna go through, there's, you have to bevel both sides, right? Oh, wow, that sounded like it's doing something. How many people are commenting about what I'm doing wrong now? Yeah, well, you gotta hold it by the tang. It's holding it totally wrong. Okay, so this knife is now sharp. See, you know what, while you're doing that, I could have been doing that knife on this. Yeah, we don't trust you. Let's see if we so turn gonna it, pull towards turn the numbers. Let's see. Whoa! It sucks. I, I don't know if that's more expensive or not. Okay, right. that knife. All, all right. right. I know which one I'm voting for and you haven't <laughs> so, cut anything. All right, paper test for this, this knife. knife. Try go try go more more straight down. I mean if I do that, of course it'll cut. Like that. Would it, would it have done that before? I don't know. I didn't try it with that knife. This knife. This what? one. It's also having trouble. 
It's always having trouble when I go in the saw technique. So it's definitely okay. So uh, that knife is not doing as well. This thing using that knife is not as good Look at this. as this knife on that. Thing. Look at this knife. Same. Look at that knife. Oh, Pretty cute, similar. Put here. your finger in there. Now let's see if we can cut some here. This is this knife. Oh, okay. This knife is doing a pretty good job of cutting this woman's hair. How I will cut this woman's hair. We we all know which one is is more expensive. Let's I mean, just this see. Is, this is just. Oh, oh. So, hey. What well, that one was that better. That knife wasn't bad. Bring it over here. Right. No, nope, doesn't matter. All that matters is this. Okay. I mean that. I mean, I, I mean how, how you ready this? to vote? Yes. Yeah. Hey, this put your easy. hand over the more expensive one. It's gotta Three, be. Two. It's one. gotta be this one. Gotta be this one. I mean the. Expensive knife sharpener is the Chef's Choice Model 151 electric knife sharpener on Rhett's side. Yeah, this, yes. is, this is like a it's legit knife. It's got more knife. levels. Yeah, it actually sharpens a knife. It is heavy and it doesn't make a weird noise. And the one on Link's side is a gift. Secura electric knife sharpener. I'd like for you to meet my friend Rhonda. You're cheap. But is this one worth the Who, price? Were you talking to Rhonda? No, I was talking to the oh. sharpener. If all you're cutting is cucumber and and Rhonda's hair, from what I could tell, it it was about even. I mean, at this or point, this I don't that. even know which one it is. I don't. Even, I can't even tell you which knife was in what thing. I mean, they're so we're saying that no dicey. It is not worth going with the chef's choice. You can just get away with two levels. And just gr just grind away a little bit longer. <laughs> and all know? all the chefs in the comments who are upset, you know what? So what? Oh, do you want to go problem. buy this? We're not telling you you can't buy it. We're just saying we're not going to. One of these facial soaps costs nine twenty nine, and one of them sells for one hundred and ten dollars, which is what? a difference of over a hundred dollars. Which one is it? What? So we? I mean, this one is like a freaking. It's like something you would just like chalk a pew pew cube with. Chalk a peel cube? Yes, chalk a peel cube. You gotta chalk that peel cube before you play it to parlor. Mmm. I, I think that this is all bull crap. This entire industry, there's so much stuff in like the cosmetic industry, and there's no way to really know. It's like, what? Well, it puts so much stuff on this packaging, like, we'll clean and micro exfoliate your skin while restoring skin radiance. Unlock. Skin's potential for regeneration and detoxification uh -huh. transforms into a voluminous, rich cashmere-like foam cleanser that it embraces skin with supreme bull crap. You, you know what? He's kind of selling me on it. It's like, all right, say less. <laughs> what is? And what is this? Uh, this is some. This is dirt. This is just dirt we're gonna put on our face. How much did we pay for this dirt in a container? It's, it, the it, world we live in is well, just stupid. It, it's good quality dirt, but uh, they have gotten rid of the brand because they don't want us to try to make this into an ad for it. Okay, dirt, not a sponsor. I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dirt up both sides of my face. I'm going for just uh, forehead dirtage, and then I'm gonna wash each side with a different thing. Do so I have any dirt on my face? Sometimes you just feel like it feels so you dumb. need to wash your face, but I, I don't know if I want to spend a hundred more dollars. You know, face washing time is my favorite time that we have here in this. And I don't know who's holding us hostage. I don't even know why anymore. But you're a good friend, and I enjoy when they let us go outside and rub our faces in the dirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I love our time that we get when we come in and we wash our faces together. This one's a lot more silky. See that right there is is a lot more. Uh, this feels like a shop soap almost. Hummusy, yeah. How did you get so much? You're becoming an opal opa over here. What do you What do you mean? Which side of my face has more of a glow? Which side of my face has more of a sheen? Which side of my face has more of a exfoliated, smooth, supple look? Okay. Look at me. I'll look at you. Your, for wow. your forehead's red. My man. forehead is still, yeah, because I didn't get all the stuff off of it. It's still in there. No, I think you've, I think you've, I've abrased it. You've abrased your forehead. How are you? But you're not looking around my face. I can tell by your eyes aren't darting around. I mean, there's absolutely no difference, unless I was like some sort of robot that could pick up on those things. I think we're gonna. Have oh to go. no, I feel a 
diff, definite difference with my hands on my face. Do you remember what side you did what on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this this soap? I or did that the soap? pool cue on this side, and I did the the one on your side on this side. Okay, I'm all right. Ready. Hand over the expensive one. Three, two, one. Uh, 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 I, 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 I can't decide because I definitely like this one better. Yeah, and this side, you know what? Already feels dry. The one hundred and ten dollar bar of soap is the Synactive facial soap on. Rhett's side. Uh, so it's the one that actually seems fancy. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, my face feels drier over here. I think it's gonna crack, fall off. <laughs> this one over here, there's no way it's worth a hundred more dollars, y'all. Use the pool cube. The I pool cube is a uh, bars over beauties facial Yeah, that's soap. what I believe. As a philosophy. Bars over beauties, yeah. It is not worth the pricey. No dicey. <laughs> Not at all. Hey, we brought back the Good Mythical Origin series over on the Mythical Society. This is where we take some of this Good Mythical lore, like uh, the Wheel of Mythicality. How did that happen? How did it evolve? Mm -hmm. Or the th way that we make each other or things Brian on this show. Uh, why does Link always find a Sprite when he's taking a bath? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta watch Good Mythical Origins to see how that mythical lore got started. Available for all degrees over at mythicalsociety.com. So much history. It's time for pasta makers, y'all. I've never I've always wanted to do this. Worked with a pasta maker. I keep saying I need to do it. Well, the cheaper pasta maker goes for $27.99 and the expensive one goes for $149.95 oh, wow. for a difference of just over 120 bucks. Oh, wow. So find the expensive one, please. I mean, just looking at these things, they look the same. Well, one's got the more, more steel. I'm gonna do what Trevor told me just a second ago. That's all, all How does that feel, Trevor, that size? Uh, that's probably a little small. Too small, too small, small, too small. But th see, this is about right. Yeah. Or is this too small? How's that, Trevor? Can I that's eat great. this? Like, that's the first thing I don't eat. No. <laughs> no. Got, I love it. It's raw flour and raw eggs. You probably shouldn't swallow it. What, really? So you just take this and kind now, of roll it through a few times. Is it gonna suck my finger through this? Hopefully. Look at that. Look at what I did. Whoa, look at that. That's really sheeting up. That's really sheeting up nice. Is that the official industry term, Trevor? Yeah. yeah it is. Look I at don't that think you need that much flower link. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Look at that, Trevor. Look what nice. I did. Nice. Look what I did, Trevor. I made it bigger. <laughs> okay, okay Pee-wee. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Vegeta Genie! <laughs> oh, break it! I did it! Look at that! This okay. is how they do pasta. I'm bringing the pasta through. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is, this is so great. What did you do, dude? What happened, You didn't Trevor? put enough, you didn't put enough flour in. Is that a flour issue? What did I do wrong? Look, let's switch. Let's you feel didn't that. do anything wrong. I didn't well, really do anything it wrong. It might have been a little bit thin, this feels, what are you doing? I'm just kind of like retesting things. It feels pretty solid. I Just run it through again. I can't feel, well that's not how you do it. Like I'm just trying, right, I, need, just I, need a, to, I need to kind of compare just let's like just make how, how do the mechanics feel and stuff. First of all, those, are, put this those are much, you see how many more there are of these than there are of these? The range is so much different on this one. This one is like real big and really little and this one is like kind of big and a little bit smaller. Is more range more expensive? Why are you over here on my thing? Because just, I know you want to compare. Because but. the competition is to see which one is. Oh, that one. Okay, I I, did, I just I just I, learned something. I didn't even feel you. I just learned something. I won't go in there. Can I, can I learn something too? I just learned a big a big a big, a big thing. See, I hate the fact that if I have the expensive one, it's gonna look like it did a good job and not me. You both did great. No, he sucked. Making fresh pasta is hard. No, I did this on purpose. I, Cause I wanna be able to get a lot of this, these needles in my mouth all at once. All right, you ready to guess? Yep. Who's greater, Trevor? I'm great. I'm great. We're, We're both, both great. great. Three, two, one. <laughs> 
Has to be. The smoothness of his handle was really impressive. But also the the operator really. <laughs> the expensive pasta maker is the Imperia pasta machine on Link side. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank God. <laughs> Trevor, we we need your help in in deciding. Was it is it worth the additional one hundred and twenty two dollars? Um, I would say if you're someone that makes fresh pasta a lot, yes. I don't feel like I did anything particularly wrong based on what don't. Trevor told me. And this thing, did, I, I can't help that this thing doesn't separate. So the we're noodles. saying worth the pricey. And you, you're blaming it entirely, entirely. on the of the it machine. It's not my fault, it's the machine's fault. The so, thing that I'm walking away with is a newfound confidence to make fettuccine. Why don't you go make a bunch of fettuccine for your family? It'll be a big fettuccine feast. Yeah, In the yeah. meantime, let's get our pretty pen pennies. P pretty pennies. What we both I, got one? Oh. Now what if I put that in here? Look at that. Flop I am. It's me. You saying I'm pretty, Lucas? Yep. Oh, thank you. E pluribus cutum. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't work, Trevor. Sorry. It doesn't work. Ah! Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Victoria from Ontario, Canada. I'm a third degree member of the Mythical Society, and so is my brother. This month he turns 30, and I wanted to use this video to tell him I got you tickets to Mythicon, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. What surprise, oh, brother? Hey, happy birthday, bro. Mm, Semper Curiosis. Click the top link to watch us discuss when and when not to be a cheapskate in Good Mythical Morals. And to find out whether William Mythicality is gonna land. Good Mythical Origins explores the true history behind some of our favorite mythical lore. Four new episodes are out now. MythicalSociety.com for details.